I really think this is true, that, that, that we're in this really dramatic time in technology where all the big companies, particularly the hardware slingers, are losing their business of selling stuff to companies because all these companies are looking to the cloud. But your company has made this really dramatic turn where you've, you had, uh, what, uh, maybe 15% of revenues uh, all in this cloud business? Yeah, so look, we're really excited about the results that we just posted. But in fact, I think what we're more excited about, frankly, is the momentum we're seeing with the Microsoft Cloud. Uh, we're on track for our $20 billion commercial run rate by FY18, and we posted 14 billion in this last announcement. And what we're seeing is from aerospace to agriculture, big companies are betting their business on the Microsoft Cloud. Yeah, you got 95% growth in your Azure business which is fantastic. Faster than Amazon Web Services growing, of course, it's a smaller business, but probably number two by most estimates. What's, what types of customers is Azure getting? Well, in the last uh, six months alone, we have announced major agreements with GE, Boeing, BMW, Renault, Nissan, Mars, SAP, and Adobe, and the like. With the planet Mars? Uh, no, Mars, uh, the the candy. Oh, the company. candy yes, company. Exactly. Because okay. so, that would be really cool. Uh, that would have been cool, there. actually. It would have been with your space station story quite well. But uh, no, in fact, enterprises around the world are betting their business on the Microsoft Cloud. And what we really see fueling this is digital. Uh, as companies try to reinvent themselves with cloud technologies. They're choosing Microsoft for that. I suspect that you have a way within Microsoft of identifying, you know, everyone's using Microsoft in some way, whether it's their desktop software or Office or something. But uh, are there, how many of these are core Microsoft customers that are moving business to the cloud because they're used to using Microsoft for a lot of other things, not just desktop applications? So we're seeing um, growth from all sorts of customers. Those have been traditional Microsoft customers that have come to trust our enterprise credibility over the last several decades, as well as new customers that are investing in new areas like the Internet of Things and the connectedness of uh, artificial intelligence to reinvent their businesses. Take, for example, Land Lakes, who is probably most known for butter and dairy but they actually have a $13 billion agricultural technology business now that's fueled by the Microsoft Cloud. Um, in terms of uh, profitability, I mean, well, that trillion dollar number that Gartner has out there, I think it's wrong for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is I don't think those dollars are going to shift. I think fractions of those dollars are going to go to the cloud and most of them will disappear. Do you guys have the same notion of Microsoft that, that the the IT spend will not be uh, all moved to the cloud, but these companies will be able to spend less because they go to the cloud? Well, it's actually a pretty interesting um, thing to think about. I mean, we used to think about our market opportunity as the total number of PCs and data servers on right. the planet, uh, but now actually we do look at our opportunity relative to the total addressable market for IT spend. If you think about what's actually happening in digital transformation, big companies like Boeing are betting their entire digital aviation business on the cloud, and they've moved to Microsoft Microsoft Azure, they're using our AI technology so that they can better address airlines around the world more nimbly and at better scale. And so this doesn't just translate to IT cost translation, there's actually new business growth that's coming from it that we've never been able to address in the past. So let's say I'm a Land of Lakes or General Dynamics or a big Fortune 500 company that's thinking about where to go with my cloud business. I'm talking to AWS, which has increasingly got a sales staff now, I'm talking to Microsoft, I'm talking to IBM, I'm talking to Rackspace, why should I go to Microsoft? Well, it's really simple. At the end of the day, it's because of our scale, the trust and security we've built into the platform, and our enterprise credibility and experience with working customers in this space. We frankly know what it takes to be able to partner with industries around the world. Take for example, the connected car space right now, which we think there's a lot of opportunity uh, in, and we're not taking the tact of building cars, but rather we have major contracts with BMW, Renault, Nissan, Volvo, Toyota, just about every auto manufacturer on the planet where we are empowering their connected car strategy. And it's that ecosystem, that enterprise scale and credibility that makes Microsoft a really differentiated choice in this space. You're faced with a dilemma of having open systems that will allow customers to move on the second they find a cheaper price or something, but have the customers, of course, would like to have that ability. Or having closed systems that might work a little bit better because if you've got databases that are wedded to Microsoft databases and APIs that are wedded to the Microsoft APIs. And Amazon, is, as some have criticized, are certainly going towards that uh, specific API approach. What's your take on that? Listen, we think open is the right way to go. And frankly, that's a big part of our business today. More than two thirds of the workloads we run in Azure today are open source workloads. They're non-Microsoft workloads. Uh, but when it comes to the enterprise, again, big businesses, when they're, when they're betting the farm, when they're really thinking about how they transform, they want the trust that a Microsoft can provide in the market. Is your business going to be bigger in Azure than, than Amazon Web Services five years from now? That's our intent.